Hello, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to solve exercise 4-5. In this exercise, we are actually modify our exercise 4-3. And in this exercise, we need to add the verification process at the airline check-in system counter. And in this exercise, we came to know there are two types of passengers that come into the system. And the first passenger type arrive according to an exponential interarrival distribution with mean of 2.41 minutes and has a service time in minutes following a gamma distribution with its parameter beta and alpha. The second type of passengers arrive according to an again exponential distribution with its parameter value of 4.4 minutes and has a service time following a 3 plus Erlon distribution such as shown here. So a passenger of each time arrive at time 0. So modify the model from exercise 4-3 to include this new information and compare the results. Okay, so let's move to the arena home screen. Okay, so here you can see we have changed some uh, uh, module as compared to exercise 4-3. First, we need to add the two create module. First create module is related to the passenger type 1 arrival that follow the random distribution and its parameter value is 2.41 minutes and the second create module is create the passenger type 2 arrival that again follow the exponential or random exponential distribution with its parameter value of 4.4 minutes and then to accomplish the different processing time of each uh, type of passenger we need to add the assign module assign module is derived again from the basic process template panel and here we are going to uh, add some information or assign some information like first we create an assignment of an attribute and the attribute name is create time you need to type it here and its value is t now this is a built-in global function in arena okay to represent or differentiate both different type of customer here entity picture is picture dot woman and then add an other attribute and this attribute name is check in time that actually follow the gamma distribution with its parameter 0.42 and 14.4 how you can add it simply click this build expression and then under the random distribution you can see the gamma distribution is available here and then simply type its parameter alpha and beta so shape parameter is the alpha and scale parameter is the beta Okay, so if you have didn't uh, watch the previous tutorial that is exercise 4-3, so first watch that tutorial because this exercise is built upon that video lecture. Okay, so now for adding the assignment module of another type of entities. So the assignment, first assignment is again the attribute. You can also duplicate this assign type 1 assignment module and then simply rename this thing like uh, this would be the same create time that is the t now and only you need to change the entity picture that is picture.man in this case and the attribute of check in time is same but its value would be changed if the entities pass through this assignment module okay so then we are simply uh, nothing add new information in this uh, panel this is the station module and this one is the route module we have already covered this thing in detail in the previous video tutorial so this one is again the station module okay so now only change in this process uh, module is to write here the expression name that is the check-in time and this expression is actually defined under this assignment module you can also check this expression under the attribute spreadsheet as well so further uh, understanding or learning uh, how we can create or modify the attribute you can check out uh, the description uh, under below here the link is uh, take you the simulation with arena tutorial video series okay then we need to add a record module to actually record the stats or here you can see the type okay so the type is the time interval here and the attribute name is the create time and the tally name is timing system okay and then simply click okay and again okay that's it and then entities leave the system and this animation is already covered in previous video tutorial so you can go and check it out the link is available under description so there is nothing changed in this case 
okay so if you move to this entity spreadsheet here you can see the passenger one and passenger two entity type and under the resource you can see the agent that type is based on schedule and this change is already covered in previous video tutorial and for variable uh, no uh, for schedule spreadsheet there you can see the schedule path of each of the agents right and this thing also being covered in previous exercise 4-3 video tutorial so there is no change in this case right under the run setup menu you can see the application length and its base time units in minutes that's it so let's run the simulation to view the results okay now simply click this yes button to view the result and then under under this report menu you can clearly see the all the statistics values and user uh, specified value that is time in system is already uh, shown here okay so i am already at all the required uh, requested information under the case problem you under this uh, bots panel and here you can see exercise 4-3 and 4-5 result value and we can clearly see there is a change in the stat value but further we need statistical uh, uh, testing to make some conclusion so if you like this video and you want to, to watch these kind of videos more consider subscribing thank you